All right, so y'all go ahead and do the factoring and the math knowledge question for today. Pause the video, and then once everyone is finished, you can unpause the video, and I'll go over the correct answers. So for the factoring, you should have x plus 1 times x plus 10. For the math knowledge question, in the figure below, x is 60, and y is 40, and the dashed lines bisect x and y. So there's a dashed line here and a dashed line here. We want to know what z is. So if x is 60, this angle is 30, and this one is 30, because they're bisected. And then if this is a bisector, and angle, is, angle y is 40, this angle is 20, and this angle is 20. And so angle z is 30 plus 20, which is 50 degrees. So that would be your answer for the math knowledge question. So we're looking at lesson 15 today, introduction to polygons. So hopefully you are somewhat familiar with polygons um, and you know the basic terminology already, but if not, hopefully after the lesson you will understand that basic terminology. So a polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more segments. Closed means that it cannot have any gaps. Once you start your polygon, you have to keep your pencil down. If I pick up my pencil to draw my polygon, that is not closed. A plane figure means that it is a two-dimensional um, figure. It is not a 3D object. And then you have to have at least three sides to a polygon. The segments that form a polygon are called the sides. And the vertex, we talked about vertex with our triangles. Vertex of a polygon is still where your two sides intersect. So those are some examples of polygons. Here are some examples of things that are not polygons. This one is not closed, it's open. This is a circle. A circle is not a polygon because it's not made up of segments or sides. It's made up of a curved bit, uh, piece of line. So this is not a polygon. Same thing with the semicircle. You've got a curved side, so it's not a polygon. And then this is a three-dimensional object. It's not a plane figure, so it's not a polygon. Equiangular polygon is where all of your angles are congruent. Equiangular, your angles are all equal. Equilateral is where all of your sides are congruent. So equilateral, your sides are all equal. A regular polygon is one that is both equiangular and equilateral. Those are your nice, pretty shapes. Irregular is where it is not regular. So it could be equiangular but not equilateral, and that would be an irregular polygon. It has to be regular or irregular. So if it's not both equiangular and equilateral, then it's irregular. So looking at A, this one is equiangular and equilateral, so that means that it is also regular. For B, it is equiangular, because they tell us the angles are congruent, and irregular. They don't tell us that the sides are congruent, so we can't say that it's regular. For C, it's equilateral, but it is not regular because they don't say anything about the angles, so it's irregular. And then D, the only thing we know about D is that it is irregular, so that would be your answer to that one. So we're going to go over the number of sides and the name of the figure. So if it has three sides, what is it called? Hopefully you know this one. We already went over them. Triangles. If it has four sides, what is it called? Not a square, not a rectangle, just a quadrilateral. Squares and rectangles are types of quadrilaterals, but that's not what a four-sided figure is called. It's just a quadrilateral. Five-sided figure is a pentagon. A six-sided figure is a hexagon, a seven-sided figure is a heptagon, eight 
is an octagon. Nine is a nonagon. Ten is a decagon. Eleven is a hindecagon. Although some books use a different word, they use undecagon. So there's a bit of confusion on what an eleven sided figure actually should be called. And then 12 is a dodecagon. So those are the first 12. Some other ones have names, um, but typically if they don't give you a name, the way, let's say it has 47 sides, they're going to just do 47 dash gone or 36 dash gone. And that means it has 47 sides or 36 sides. So um, don't worry if you don't know any other names. They're usually going to give you the number of sides instead of a name. But these you do need to be familiar with because they may say a nonagon, da 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 da, and you need to know how many sides it has. So if y'all need to pause the video to write those down, you can. Alright, so we're going to classify each polygon, determine whether it is equiangular, equilateral, regular, irregular, or more than one. So the first one, they don't tell us um, anything about it, so that means it's irregular. But we still have to classify it. So how many sides does it have? Six, so that means it is called a hexagon, and it is an irregular hexagon. Okay, for the next one, we know that it is equilateral and irregular. And how many sides does it have? Five, so that would be a pentagon. Looking at this next one. We know that it is irregular because it doesn't have any angle or side mark. And it has five sides, so that's a pentagon. So that would be classifying it and determining the information they ask you to find. Looking at convex, every diagonal of a convex polygon is going to be inside of the polygon. And if it's not convex, it's concave. And that's where you can draw at least one di diagonal outside of the polygon, or at least part of it is outside of the polygon. So here's some um, examples. The convex polygon, every single diagonal that I draw is going to be inside of the figure. No matter which diagonal you draw, you're always going to be inside the figure. Over here, some of the diagonals are inside of the figure. But this one right here, or this one here, those go outside of the figure, at least for part of it, and that would be a concave polygon. Um, some people, it helps if you notice that there is a cave. There's an indention here and here. So if you have a little indention in your figure, a little cave, that's a concave polygon. The diagonal of a polygon is just going to be a segment that connects two non-consecutive vertices. So if I connected A and E, those are consecutive vertices, and that's just going to be a side length. So that's why it has to be non-consecutive. So I couldn't connect A to B, but I could connect A to C and A to D. So those would be your diagonals. Non-consecutive vertices are connected. Congruent polygons are where you have polygons that are the same shape and size. They can be turned, um, they can be flipped, they can be rotated, just as long as they have the exact same shape and size. So we want to find a diagonal in the polygon that connects points in the exterior of the polygon. So there are actually four of them. You can connect this point to this point, and that would be on the outside or to this point, or to this point, 
or to that one. So any of those four would be diagonals that are on the exterior of the polygon. So is this one a concave or convex polygon? It's concave because we have indentions. Okay. For B, is it convex or concave? It's convex, and the reason that it is convex, no diagonal, can be drawn with points in the exterior of the polygon. So we can't draw a diagonal that goes outside of the figure, so that's a convex. It asks if the two polygons here are congruent. Are they the same shape or same size? No. And it says justify your answer. They are different shapes. So they are not congruent. They don't even look like they may be the same. All right, so now we're going to look at interior angle and an exterior angle. An interior angle is an angle that's formed by two sides of your polygon with a common vertex. An exterior angle is an angle formed by one side of a polygon and an extension of the adjacent side. So let's look here. Basically, your interior angles are on the inside of your figure and your exterior angles are on the outside. So is angle one on the inside or the outside? It is on the outside, so it would be an exterior angle. Angle two is on the inside, so it's an interior angle. Angle three is also on the inside, so it's an interior angle. Angle 4 is an interior angle. And angle 5 is an exterior angle. So that would be your answer. Looking here, name the type of polygon used in the pattern. Is it regular or irregular? Well, how many sides does it have? It has six sides, so that's a hexagon. It is irregular because it's not equilateral or equilateral. Also, it is concave. And a concave polygon is never going to be able to be regular because your angles are never going to be able to be congruent. So you could also say it's irregular because it's concave. For part B, pick any pair of interlocking polygons. Are they congruent? And then are they convex or concave? So, are these two congruent? Yes, they are. Are they convex or concave? Well, we just went over that they are concave and explain. We can draw a, dry, a diagonal in the exterior of the polygon. So that's how we know that it is concave. All right, so let's look at this practice problem, y'all name them and then determine whether they are equilateral, equiangular, regular, irregular, or none, or more of these, not none, or more of these. So this first one is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be a hexagon. It is equilateral and irregular. The next one 
It is an eight-sided figure, so it's an octagon. It is equiangular and irregular. This next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is a nonagon and irregular because it doesn't tell us anything about the sides or angles. This next one is a pentagon. It is equilateral. Angular and regular. So that would be your answer for those. Hopefully you're able to get most of those right. So y'all try these and then after you're finished you can unpause the video and I'll go over them. It says find a diagonal for the one on the left. G H there's a J here. K L. Um, the diagonal would be H L. That diagonal or L H, either one. But that side length and then that diagonal, that segment is the one that's in the exterior. It is W or V W X Y Z convex or concave. It is concave. And the reason it's concave is because W, Z is in the exterior. Another one that would work would be H, K or W, Y. That one would also be partly in the exterior. So if you wanted to say that one, you could. It asks, are these two congruent? Well, they look like they're the same shape and they tell us this angle is congruent to this angle, that angle is congruent to that one, these are congruent, these are congruent, and these are congruent. And then the side lengths are congruent. So yes, they are congruent because the corresponding pairs of angles are congruent and the corresponding pairs of sides are congruent. So they are congruent figures. Looking at this one, determine whether they are interior or exterior. So y'all try that real quick and then unpause the video. So angle one and angle three are interior and angle two and angle four are exterior. So hopefully you got those right. You just looked at whether it's on the inside of the polygon or on the outside. Now we want to name the type of polygon used in this pattern. So it is a hexagon, and they are regular. How do we know they're regular? They tell us this one is both equilateral and equiangular. So they have to be regular figures. Pick any pair of polygons in the pattern. Are they congruent? Yes. Are they convex or concave? Well, if it's regular, that means it has to be convex. And the reason we know that, no diagonals are in the exterior of the polygon. Alright, so y'all try this challenge question. And then I'll go over it after y'all have given it a shot. So name the polygon. It is triangle A, B, D. C is not a vertex, so you cannot use C in naming the polygon. So you could have a different order for A, B, and D, but only these three letters can be used to name your triangle. Okay, so your homework is 1 through 30, so make sure that y'all do that tonight so we can go over your questions tonight.